Hi, this is David from LightsOnAbbey.com. I hope you enjoyed our previous video where we showed you how to build RBLs for your display. In this one, we're going to show you how to configure them in X-Lights. Please like and subscribe, and let's get it done. Okay, let's get right into setting up those RBLs in X-Lights. First, you go to Layout tab. I'm going to cover two of the common ways they're set up. Both of them use a single line as the starting point. The first one I'm going to show you is how you would set up a string of RBLs. Even though it shows 50 here, we're going to change that in a minute. So go ahead and save that change for 50. In order to set it up as RBLs, you need to set up a group count. In order to set up a group count, you have to assign the model to a controller so it allows the controller to see that um, you have pixels on that port. When you do that, you then have the ability to set up the group count right here. So if you set the group count, let's try that again. Set the group count. We're going to set it at six. While we're at it, we're going to change the size or the appearance, and we're going to make them very large. That's large enough. It looks like there's a more than six there or more than 10 there. Notice it still thinks there's 50. In order to make that 10 RBLs, put 10 there. And now you see 10 RBLs. So you've changed it from 50 to 10. It now thinks it's 10 um, individual nodes. And it reflects that over in the visualizer. And you can see here, it says it's a single line with 10 nodes. But we know in reality, there are six nodes in each. So it would be 60 total nodes. So be aware that you're going to have to manually uh, determine your amp draw uh, when you're using RBLs. It doesn't automatically do that for you. The next way also uses a single line, but in this case, we're just going to create a single RBL. And you wonder, why would I create a single RBL? Well, some people have um, their uh, layout in such a way that they would have RBLs on different sides of the driveway, let's say. And let's say they wanted to run them from different controller ports. So they would create individual RBLs as we did here. At this point, you, once you have it on a port, you're going to go back in. You've changed the name to single RBL. You're going to go down and set the group count. You need to leave that at 50 because if you don't have it set at 50, you can't change the group count because it thinks it's one pixel. So don't change it yet. Change it to six, which means you'll have six pixels in each one of the or in this single RBL, if you will. Let's go ahead and change the size. Let's make it now no, 27. You could change the color there, of course. But it's only a single RBL, so let's set this to one. At this point, it should reflect a single RBL, and it does. So that's one RBL. Let's go back and see what it shows on the controllers tab in the visualizer. We visualize it as a single RBL with one pixel. But again, in reality, we know there's six. So at this point, if you want to have multiples of these, just click on it and Control-C or Command-C if you're on a Mac. And then click off and Control C or Command V and paste a copy of it, and then just move it to wherever you think you need to have it. So at this point, we have two single RBLs and 10 RBLs on a single strand. Again, why the difference? These would hook up the 10 on a single strand, showing as a single strand would hook up to a single port, where these could hook up at the individual ports. Let's go see how you sequence them in the uh, using the new new RBLs. So at this point, we're going to scroll down to the RBLs where they're at on our our um, visual, excuse me, on our sequencer. You notice we have RBL two, single RBL, and it's still single line. Oh, I forgot to change the name of that. So let's go back to layout, click on that, and let's change that to RBLs. Well, let's change to RBL two. How about that? And save it. Let's go back to our sequencer. And now we have RBL2, single RBL, and RBL2 here, a single RBL2. So if it's on an RBL string, you can throw an effect on it. And notice that it will change the three colors up here in the model preview. Let's throw a house preview in here as well so we can see both of them. So notice as I play, it goes red, green, white. It's going to change the colors. So as a single strand, it change, makes the whole strand the same color. We can do the same thing on the single RBLs. Let's copy this and let's just paste it here and here. 
And let's see what happens now. There's our house preview. The singles are red. The line is red. When it changes, they're all going to change at the same time, but you get the point. The point is, is they can be individually configured. So to make that point, bring that point home a little bit more, let's change this to green, yellow, and this blue, and let's just play it again so you can see the difference. There's the yellow. Next one's going to be the blue and then the green. Oh, there's the green. Sorry, I got it wrong. And the blue. So anyway, you see the point. You can individually sequence them when they're singles, or you can sequence them in a string. One other thing to note, if you expand the RBL to the strand level and the node level, excuse me, I'm on the wrong one, on the RBL string, if you, if you look at the strand level, you can individually sequence each one of the nodes or each one of the RBLs, um, anything you want. So right now, RBL2 is this, but let's get rid of that. You can put your individual colors or your individual changes anywhere you want in this list and make it do anything you want. I'm just grabbing a bunch of, this one won't work because it's all one color. It's gotta be single color props. So let's just do these three. Let's make them all the same size and let's replicate these multiple times. And let's get rid of this one and this one. So they're gone. Okay, at this point in time, I'm going to align them up again. Okay, let's play it now and see what happens on the uh, whole house preview. Notice how the different colors, they're taking the different colors of the line. So you can individually sequence the single RBLs, even though they're on a strand. So what this shows you is you literally can sequence and put colors and effects on them however you want, either as a string or as an individual RBL, even when they are defined as a string. I hope that helps you understand how to configure your RBLs in x -Lights. Now go get it done. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.